Hi, I'm Sarah Landry Ryder with the Redheads. Uh, we've had a lot of requests from people with our veggie burgers on how we cook them because sometimes they take them home and we have lots of ideas for dinners with salads, sandwiches, or you can do them on crumbles on uh, baked potatoes and whatnot. So I'm here to show you some ways that we do that today. Uh, these are the veggie burgers. They come in four four ounce patties. Uh, we individually wrap them. They come frozen. So these you can either take out and let on the counter for about a half an hour, 20 minutes, or you can take them right out and put them in the pan. I opened them up here, and over here you can see that uh, I've got two veggie burgers going. The first one here is ready to slip, so I'm gonna do that now. I just put it right in the pan with no oil. And this one here I can flip, and it's browning up really nice. This one is going to be the burger. So I like to make, um, have it nice and firm on the outside. It is a tofu based veggie burger. So giving it time to flatten and actually cook is a really good thing. Uh, the one back here, we're going to do as a veggie burger crumbles. And here you can see it's already pretty well browned. I flipped it, I put it in the pan just like I would the regular veggie burger. I flipped it and now I'm going to crumble it. So once I flipped it, I'm going to mash it up a little bit, get, get it so it's broken up, and then I'm going to let it cook on the other side so it gets nice and crispy, and we have some nice crumbles to work with to put on top of our salad. So here you just crumble it up, and then put it back on the grill. And over here to do my prep, if you uh, come this way, we have um, just some organic greens from Meadowlark Farm and I tossed it with uh, some organic carrots that were shredded with some tomatoes from a local farm. And this is my pre-prep. What we like to do at the restaurant is we use our balsamic vinaigrette as our uh, base dressing. And so I put that on the bottom of all the greens here. And then the next thing we do is we wait for the, the crumbles. And I have my, my uh, sandwich uh, whole grain bread here that's ready and I, I like to put a little bit of pesto on the bottom of that. Uh, we make pesto here that you can buy at the restaurant or sometimes I like to throw some uh, pesto hummus in the on top of the, uh, the sandwiches. So you can use that. We also use a Bex Brown mustard which is a local mustard and get these crumbles going here. You can see they're, they're getting nice and toasty. And I just keep kind of flipping them around so they have a nice crumble to them. And these are um, a tofu base, so as I said before, so it's really high in protein. This here is getting pretty close. So what I like to do is just check the other side, see that it's about the same brownness. And this would be the time that you'd want to put your cheese on top of the product. So if you wanted to do a little bit of cheese, you just throw a little bit of black diamond white cheddar on the top of that. And you can put a cover over that on low heat and it'll melt up really nicely. And here we've got the crumbles. And I think those are about ready to put on our salad. I'm gonna come over here with me. Here you can see they're nice and brown. You can get them as brown as you'd like. So um, you could go a little bit longer if you wanted, but it's a nice crumble there. And I just throw it right on top. Sorry, this handle's a little hot. Actually, grab them. A little crumble here. Throw that on top of your greens. I like to put a little bit of cheese on top. And add a little pesto if you have it, or a dollop of the pesto hummus. The garlic hummus is great as well. And voila, you have a nice healthy salad for dinner tonight. You can also do these crumbles um, as a substitute for taco night if you want to have a um, vegetarian option or if you want to have a little bit lower calorie or not eat the meat. Uh, we also can crumble them on top of a baked potato. So there's lots of things you can do with these. Here you can see we melted the cheese up really nicely. But again, it's black diamond white cheddar. And I just like to, um, you can use it on a, a burger bun or you can use bread. When I use bread, I cut them in half here a little bit and I spread it out over the, uh, the um, 
sandwich. Some spatulas giving me a little bit of trouble here. Such is life in the kitchen. And you can throw a little bit of tomatoes on top with some fresh greens and a little bit of mayo and mustard if you prefer. Put those on there. We do a little bit of Bex local brown mustard and we have some light mayo or again you can use the hummus. The hummus is a great substitute for that. And here we go, cut it in half. You can serve it with pickles which is one of my favorite things. Let's throw some nice pickles on top. And here again, voila, you have a nice healthy dinner. If you have any more questions you can email us at info at redheadsinc.com. Thank you.